Hi, I'm Kayla Taylor with Tea Nation, and today we're making frozen strawberry and peach bellinis. We're gonna start with our spring gria as our base, and that is this tea right here. It's a strawberry and peach green tea with elderflower, hibiscus, and champagne extract. So I went ahead and made that ahead of time and let it chill. If you don't have time to let it chill, you can make it double strength and pour it over ice and that'll cool it down, but you wanna make sure you're starting with a chilled blend. So I'm gonna take my blender, and I'm going to add some frozen strawberry. These are really big strawberries, so I'm gonna add like what's half a strawberry, and that would be a full strawberry, if not more of a normal size strawberry. And then I'm gonna add a peach slice, and maybe this little guy right here, perfect. I'm gonna then take my tea, and I'm gonna pour out two ounces of that, and add that directly to my blender. I'm also gonna go ahead and add one ice cube just cause I like it really slushy and this fruit defrosts really quickly once you take it out of the freezer. A pro tip would be to actually freeze the tea ahead of time into ice cube trays and use that instead to really get that extra slushy for you, but I don't have ice cream trays. So <laughs> we're just going with the tea. All right, put that in our blender and hit start. portable blender. It doesn't work quite as efficiently as my professional blender that I usually use. Alright. Get that mixed together. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that to our champagne flute. And you're going to fill that up about three quarters of the way. That's pretty much all of it. There we go. All right. And then I also have here, this is Frey. It's a sparkling alcohol removed root. So it's kind of like a, a sparkling wine, but it has the alcohol removed. And I love this brand because it's really accessible. It's actually made by Sutter Home. If you're familiar with them, they are one of the bigger distributors out there for wine, one of the bigger wineries. So it's really easy to get. I got this in my local grocery store and I bet you can get it pretty easily where you are as well. So we're gonna use this to top it off. Now, if you do not have a sparkling wine to use to top off, whew, you can use some sparkling water or a flavored seltzer or something like that to, stop, to top it off. So we're gonna just let that fizz up nicely on top. Add a little bit more, there we go. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and garnish it with a strawberry and a peach slice. Although not necessary, I know it's a small glass, but that is always an option. So this is a really good one for Sunday brunch or if you have a baby shower coming up to have that mocktail option for people. It looks fancy and it's delicious. It's really good now that the weather is gonna start warming up as well. So. Cheers to that. 